Hey there, collectives, and welcome back for a general love reading here. This particular reading is going to be for the zodiac sign of Scorpio. Scorpio, this is, uh, we're going to pull the energy of the person or people coming towards you. This is not your energy, but it's used through your energy to see what is happening in your external, what you may not see coming, what someone feels about you, and what are their intentions coming towards you. It could be a past person, it could be a new person, it could be anybody. So use your intuition, only take the part that fits because this is a general reading, it's not a personal reading, therefore it's not going to resonate with every Scorpio that views this video. If this video does resonate with you, I ask that you please like this video and leave me a beautiful high vibrational comment. So let's see, Spirit, show me Scorpio's person here. What is the person in love surrounding Scorpio Spirit? Show me Scorpio. 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 Okay. Let's see. All right, Scorpio, look, <laughs> that is your overall energy is the devil card. Now, some of you Scorpios, now we're dealing with your person's energy. This is the energy coming towards you. This ain't you. This is how they feel towards you. So you could have a toxic ass, a Capricorn, or it could be anyone who is obsessing over you. Either they are obsessing over you because they are uh, in love with you, infatuated with you. Or maybe this person has some type of addictions. Maybe this person is addicted to your energy, Scorpio. After all, you are Scorpio. Uh, but maybe this person is attached to someone else Why they are addicted to Scorpio. But either way it goes, this is this person's overall energy, the devil. Ooh, I heard that shit. Let's see, Scorpio. All right, Spirit, show me Scorpio's person. Who is this energy coming towards Scorpio, Spirit? Show me. Devil, Eight of Swords, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Someone is mentally stuck on you. They can't seem to get you off of their mind. The Ten of Cups, someone wants a happily ever after with you. They see a life with you. This person has been watching you from a distance, low-key obsessing over you. You're someone who they look at like they can really plan a life with you. They say the world is y'all's. Y'all can conquer it together. And I feel like this person only has eyes for you, Scorpio. Five of Cups. There is someone regretting something. So maybe this is a past person here. Show me Scorpio's person, Spirit. Give me one more card for Scorpio's person. What is this about? judgment. I tell you, Virgo got that judgment card too. Some people are, but you may not be having it. They may look at you like either that somebody wants to come in and fight for you because they are regretting losing you or someone, or you got your guards up towards someone who is trying to come back to you because they are in this energy here. So let's see about your person. You could be dealing with a water sign, an earth sign, an air sign. Well, I don't see earth. I see Taurus. I see fire, I see cups, and I see air. So let's see. Spirit, clarify Scorpio's question. I'm gonna start off with this devil card. See what the heck is going on with your people, Scorpio. Towards you. <laughs> All right, let's see. <sighs> Nine of Cups here. So someone is looking at you like you are their wish fulfilled. They say they can get it all with just you. You make them complete in this Nine of Cups energy. Ooh, so let's start off with the devil card for Scorpio's person here. Spirit, why is the devil here? For Scorpio's person, clarify the devil. 
devil card is clarified by the page of cups. So you may have a secret admirer. You could very well have a secret admirer who is a person from your past that is obsessed over you. Now, either this person is crushing on you or this person is, is, is wanting to come in and, and uh, apologize here. Look, you got the six of wands here. Clarify the devil for Scorpio's person. Five of pentacles. So see, this is someone from your past. They want to come in after cold. And they all they do is watch you. <laughs> Ooh, that's all they do is watch you. That's all they do is give me another card for this devil. And see a future with you. This person wants to come out the cold because they want their future to be with you. This is why you have the Ten of Cups here. They're waiting on you. They're, they're, they're so obsessed with you and how they want to be back with you. To they're waiting for you with this Three of Wands energy. Now, what's up with this Five of Cups energy for Scorpio's person, Spirit? Clarify the Five of Cups. Look. <laughs> the Lover's card here. You have the lover's card here. So this person is regretting. Maybe this person had another lover here. Let's see. Clarify this five of cups for Scorpio's person. Could be dealing with the Gemini. Clarify the five of cups for Scorpio's person. Six of wands here. So this person is regretting. I feel like this six of wands is rec recognizing something. Within this five of cups, this person is recognizing here that they were very, very manipulating. With this magician card, they were manipulating your emotions, the queen of cups, to be with another lover. And this is why they're regretting it because it was all unnecessary and uncalled for. That's why you got to be careful how you treat folks here. This person is looking at their own self with the six of wands energy. Yeah, they recognize that they needed to make a choice here. Instead of manipulate the situation and have their cake and eat it too. And this is why they're living to regret it now, Scorpio. Because I guarantee you they'll get a whole right foot to have that cup now. Because now all they're surrounded by is a bunch of drama. A bunch of drama and confusion here. Mm -mm. And they could also be seeing you as now you have uh, many, many admirers fighting for your attention. They could be looking at this now. It's almost like someone is regretting not being truthful with you and, and, and cheating on you because now if they want you back, they're going to have to go through everybody else that wants Scorpio. Ooh. Now, what's up with this Eight of Swords for Scorpio's person? Why is this Eight of Swords here for Scorpio's person? Let's clarify Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords is clarified by the Four of Wands. I feel like this person is stuck in another relationship because see, this is why they're regretting it. Now they're regretting this lover and this is someone else. They're recognizing that they used a lot of manipulation. And for some of y'all, this person was doing magic. Let's just keep it real. They did magic to get you, but they couldn't keep you. And I feel like it's backfired on this person. So now they're regretting it now because they stuck in something that they don't want to be in, or maybe they're stuck on you. So let's see. Clarify this Eight of Swords for Scorpio's person. Page of Wands here. So there's a bunch of immature. So I feel like this person is stuck in a relationship, but it's, they're not serious. Your person is not serious. Even though they got stuck in this relationship, they're still not serious. They're not emotionally involved. They're not even taking it serious because they're not emotionally invested in this relationship. See, <laughs> they want to walk away with this eight of cups. Now, who they're with could be very, very immature in order. You know, it's almost like they playing house. They, they, they committed to somebody, but they didn't get a mature ass energy. No, they got somebody who was young and full of games, didn't know how to pay bills, wasn't taking life serious, and now they want to walk away. But since they were living with this person, they're stuck. You can't just get up and walk away. No, you got to, you got to share them bills. You got to bear them. Uh, you got to break them responsibilities down. Now, what's up with this justice, this judgment card for Scorpio's person? Clarify judgment for Scorpio's person. Could be dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, or a Gemini here, or a Pisces here. Clarify judgment or Taurus here for Scorpio's person. 
Judgment is clarified by <laughs> Five of Cups. See, this person's receiving karma, Scorpio. You got the Five of Cups twice. This person is being judged by their actions here. And they're coming out guilty because they're sad. So if they had made the right decisions, and the right decision does not mean that they didn't have a right to go out and be with someone else. I just feel like your person used a lot of manipulation to get what they wanted in their favor with the six of wands here. But now they're regretting it because things are not good in their life with this judgment card. And, and anyway, they lost Scorpio. They lost Scorpio playing them goddamn me games, see? The one who fulfills them, they lost them. And this person, they could be had, they could be getting judged against their finances too. With this five of pentacles here, because they lost. Because you got the five of pentacles. You got the five of cups and the five of pentacles here. See, this person is person's being judged for a lot of different things here. Perfect judgment for Scorpio's person. Look, the king of wands, there you go. For some of y'all, you got a Leo Sagittarius or Aries who is being judged because of how they because of how they did things. Well, because they had their free will. But even in your free will, you have to be mindful of the of how you do it because it's coming back. This is why this person is receiving karma, bad karma. Perfect judgment here, see? It's because they were stepping her out. Seven of swords, see? And it could have been with somebody from their past. They went back to somebody from their past here. They stepped out on you because they were arrogant and prideful in this king of wands energy. And they thought that they could get away with shit. And they went back to somebody from their past. And now they're regretting it because they stuck with their asses. Now, huh? Now clarify this two of wands for Scorpio's person here. Not only are they regretting it, they want to leave because they're no longer emotionally invested in them. It's, they laying next to somebody every night and don't even love their ass while they sitting around here obsessing over Scorpio, but it's part of their karma here. Clarify this two of wands for Scorpio's person. Five of swords, the five, five, five. See there? This person was, was trying to win at all costs here. I feel like this person watches you from a distance. They could be online watching you, but this person feels defeated now because... All of the emotions that they have for you now, it doesn't matter because they're stuck in, in the choice that they made here. And it's not good. See, this person is, is stressed out. This is part of their karma too. Nine of swords, they being taunted. They being taunted about your memory, Scorpio. They're being taunted and hunted by your energy and your, your spirit. Because now they cannot have you because they asses is, is stuck. And when the hangman is in reverse, it represents a self-imposed. These are the things that your person did. They did it. They did it. They did it. And then see, this person don't have any spiritual insight. This, per this person does not pray. They don't believe in reaching out to the universe or to the, the most high. This person was arrogant, feeding their flesh, and now they're living to regret it. Now you have the Ten of Cups. And this is how this person feels towards you. Clarify the Ten of Cups for Scorpio's person. Ten of Cups is clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. Now this could be how they see you. Because, see, they ain't got shit. Now they could be wanting to come back to you because things look like they're doing good for you. You got the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. This ain't what they ask because they're stuck. They're stuck already in something. They stuck in a relationship with some childish ass person that don't want to help pay bills. They want to go get their hair done, go to the club every weekend, or uh, drive the best of cars and half ass work here. So this is why your person fell out of love. They went over there thinking that the grass was greener, but they ended up losing all the love and respect for that relationship. And I feel like this is why this person really is in this 555 energy. Five of Swords, Five of Cups, Five of Pentacles. It's because now they want your ass back and the universe is showing them how they handle things, but they see you winning. For some of y'all, this person looks at you like you're already in a stable, fulfilling, long-term relationship. So they asses don't stand a chance. And see, the fool car, they feel like you done winning started over with somebody else and you don't want they asses no more. Eight of Wands, something you doing that's done took off and this, they could be looking at your career. They could be looking at like, God dang, Scorpio on fleek. Look at all this shit Scorpio got going on. And I play games and Scorpio don't want my ass back. 
Look at this. This is hurting. Some of y'all, somebody see you buying a home. Somebody see you on fleek. Somebody see your money is out the roof. Or they could actually be seeing someone invest into you. They see you taking a leap of faith. And they say you ain't scared, goddammit. Whatever this person did to you, they did not break you. What they did was push you towards your victory, towards your, your destiny here. See there? You got it all good for you. With the eight of wands, and it didn't take long. Something is about to take off of Scorpios here. And I feel like what it is is not only do you have a abundance and wealth and happiness coming your way, but you also have a long-term, loving, fulfilling abundant relationship coming that's going to show this person that they're out of their league. They made their bed and they need to get their ass in it because Scorpio is gone. All right, Scorpio, this is what I have for you. So look, this is why you ain't studying their ass. Don't nobody want that Knight of Wands energy. <laughs> Don't nobody want that Knight of Wands energy. Look at you. Look at you again, Scorpio. The Seven of Wands against the, the Knight of Wands as well as the... See, this is what you're doing. The Seven of Wands... Seven of Pentacles, you dealing with your money. You're protecting your assets. You're protecting the things that you had to work for. And when this Knight of Wands try to break free and come bring their ass to you, you're rejecting their ass because they ain't got shit to offer because you got, the universe is going to give you what you deserve. This person is looking at you in awe because they see a major transformation taking place in your life and you already said what you said. You don't want their ass no more. And plus that, they ain't got shit no more. They went in another relationship and lost it all instead of building it all. Now they're trying to come back to you and you stand on your ground. You're like, uh-uh, I don't want your ass. You still coming around here in that same ass shit? Nope, they go to seven of wands again. You're highly protected against this non-committal ass community penis ass ex. So, all right, Scorpio, this is what I have. If this video resonates, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave me a comment, and I'll talk to you on the next Scorpio video. Bye, Scorpios.